I'm calling from Vancouver, BC, and one of the um, botanical uh, treatments that I'm interested in, I guess, would come under the general heading of mushrooms or fungal type um, products. Do you have any uh, comments on different fungal products or mushroom products that are available? Um, I would just say that in general there are some medicinal, medicinal mushrooms that are available um, and they can be very, very effective. Um, the particular one that, that would be best for you, again, I would get the advice of uh, a healthcare practitioner, but I have used um, some of these extensively with cancer patients with fantastic results. Um, I mentioned bringing up some of the blood parameters, and these mushrooms are excellent in doing that, keeping people from being anemic or from having white blood cell counts that are too low or uh, neutrophils, which are a type of white blood cell um, being too low, um, supporting energy. So I've had very good results um, with the types of mushrooms that I've used. And I know in China, they're used extensively in China and Japan in some of the hospitals. Right. Can you give me some of the names uh, in particular of, of ones that you've used? I've used one called Coriolis PSP, but again, I would just caution you that I've chosen that um, for the particular person that I've worked with. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just looking to compare some of the products. Yes, all I can tell you, I've used a brand called JHS Mushrooms. They're extremely high quality. Um, but as for the one that would be best for you, um, again, I would get some help in determining that in particular. OK, with a, a naturopathic physician, or would um, a conventional health care provider also be able to give me some guidance on that? You'd probably have better luck with a naturopathic doctor in terms of having experience with those um, products. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Your next question comes from Rosemary. Please go ahead. Hi, Tracy. Great presentation and quite informative. Could you repeat the last um, website address you gave dealing with clinical trials for the CAM? Um, well, it's on the... I'll give it to you now, and it's actually a part of the bigger um, CAM website list that I can send out. But it's the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine, and it's www.nccam.nih.gov. Gov. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. Your next question comes from Marilyn. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in, it seems to be controversial about phytoestrogens in ovarian cancer. Do we avoid them, take them? I'm very, very confused. And that would be like plant estrogens, stay away from soy, I've heard. Um, then I've heard soy is good. So I don't know what to do in that regard. Okay, I'll answer that as best I can. It is a, um, a confusing and somewhat controversial area, especially in relation to soy. Um, one thing I can tell you, um, if, if you're on tamoxifen, soy is uh, contraindicated and uh, phytoestrogens are contraindicated. Um, in general, what phytoestrogen means is that a compound in that substance, let's say it's uh, angelica, for instance, is similar enough to estrogen that it can bind to an estrogen receptor. That's what phytoestrogen means. In general, they do not increase your hormone levels, um, but they can um, they can affect and alter your symptoms. Um, as far as soy is concerned, um, I recommend a very moderate amount of soy, maybe a couple of times a week. And beyond that, you would have to look at each herb individually. 
um, in relation to your particular situation to decide if it's safe or not to take. Okay, and do you know anything about like infrared saunas? I've read some good things about them, and I'm wondering if it's a hype or if it's... No, I, I know a little bit, and it's not a hype. Uh, the infrared sauna is a, a way of detoxing, and um, although it, it invol involves a fair time commitment in terms of you know, doing it regularly for a particular amount of time, and also usually there are a number of um, nutrients that you take along with the sauna itself to increase the detoxification. Can you tell me any of those in nutrients? Oh, there's a number of them. No. Is there some way I can find out, or do I have to go to a natural path? Um, I have been doing these saunas, so uh -huh. <laughs> I'm worried now. Um, well, I wouldn't be worried. Um, I believe the protocol is just to enhance the eff efficacy of the detoxification. Um, it, I don't have uh, a reference off the top of my head. Um, oh, well, if I could find out somehow, maybe that would, I'll, I'll try and do a search. Um, yeah, I would Google it. Um, in on, where are you located? I'm in British Columbia. In British Columbia. Um, yeah, I'd start out with Googling it. Um, there's a naturopath in Ontario named uh, Sat Dharam Kar, and she's done a lot of work around the sauna technique. And uh, so uh, some of the information I'm aware of is from her, and actually she has written a couple of books, so I think some of the information is in there. And let me just get um, okay. the spelling for you. <coughs> um, so her first name is S-A-T. Yeah. Second name, D-H-A-R-A-M. And the last name is K-A-U-R. K-A-U-R. Yes. Okay. One quick. I've been taking Cure Kim and I've read some good things about it. Is there anything, and, and Cure Sitin? Cure Sitin? Yeah. And I'm just a little concerned because I was doing some more research and they apparently are phytoestrogens. And since I'm taking capsules of these, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm, I'm not in treatment. I'm trying to be preventative. Mm -hmm. It's hard, you know, it's hard to answer that okay. as, a, as a general comment, but, you know, certainly you want to look at safe amounts and right. um, perhaps consult with someone who could guide you yeah, okay. around that. Right. But I think you'll find um, Dr. Carr's books very, okay. very helpful. Oh, she has a book. Okay. She has two books. Okay. Yeah, one on breast cancer, and I think the second one is sort of an encyclopedia on women's health. And, and that's what we should base, because there's more research on breast cancer. Us ovarian cancers can kind of read on breast cancer to get similar. Um, I, I just think that uh, you'll find information within either of those books that will address okay. some of your okay. concerns. Thank you very much. You're welcome.